In a recent discussion, Andrew Tate shared his beliefs regarding the existence of God. Let's explore Tate's views and provide a thoughtful response to his arguments. I understood that the thing that made me stop being an atheist is simply the amount of evil I saw around. If Satan is going to appear, if Satan appears in front of you, you're going to have to say, okay, well then God must be real. The Battle Between Good and Evil Tate's observation about the existence of evil resonates with beliefs throughout history. The battle between good and evil has been ongoing since the time of Adam until Muhammad, peace be upon them, and will continue until the end of humanity. Religions often provide logical explanation for the existence of evil and offer guidance on navigating the moral challenges it presents. Atheism, on the other hand, argues that evil is subjective and lacks objective existence, which is exactly what the devil wants society to believe. Order in the Universe Additionally, the mere existence of the universe itself testifies to the presence of a creator independent of space and time. This creator is responsible for everything, including the universe. When we observe the intricacies and order found within the laws of the universe, we imply a design and purpose. In the Quran, Allah introduces himself as an absolute and eternal creator, a designer, and the sustainer of not just one universe, but multiple universes. He designed them with great power, wisdom, and might. And that's the point we got to. I realized there was so much evil and so much injustice. And so much. It was it's just the endless, genuine, deliberate attempts at destroying the baseline morality of humans. Just making us believe that to the point where pedophilia is even bad. Like, incest is okay. Like, things we know are wrong. We just innately know it's wrong. And they're just trying their best to destroy our moralities. And these moralities were installed in us by somebody or something. I believe God now. And they are, are attempting to destroy them. Who would attempt to destroy the baseline morality that was God-given? Satan. So if Satan is trying to destroy our morality, then God must be real. The Inner Battle of Good versus Evil Indeed, even from an individual perspective, one can feel the struggle of conflicting influences whispering into their consciousness, tempting them to transgress boundaries for self-pleasure and gain. But at the same time, there's an innate feeling or voice of sympathy, empathy, and the ability to recognize evil and understand that it is wrong, even if the whole world is trying to convince you otherwise. This inner battle reflects the cosmic conflict of good versus evil, reinforcing the concept of God and Satan, the devil deception. Regarding atheism and agnosticism, that is precisely what Satan wants the world to believe. It is a belief system where you reject the only logical explanation for your existence, or simply say that we don't know anything and turn a blind eye to all the evidence provided by God. It is a world without objective morality, where even controversial practices like homosexuality, transgenderism, pedophilia and incest are being normalized and imposed upon people's thoughts by the media. These are the consequences of removing God from society and letting subjective morality rule. Not only in this life, but even in the afterlife, extreme destruction and punishment await rebellious sinners and those who deny Allah and ignore His signs. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for the latest videos.